Hello and welcome to Ditsy 2. I'm Emma. And I'm Tori. And today we are going through our speed build video. Oh, so yeah. we're starting off furnishing all of the houses because Emma built this gorgeous, gorgeous building but Thank forgot you. to hit. I don't think cord. it's important what did or didn't happen in the recording. Or didn't circle <laughs> in the recording. Um, so Emma built this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, building, and we've called I it think the old. Called it pretty enough. One more time. <laughs> just one it... more time. I just want to. Hear. <laughs> we've called it the old schoolhouse, um, because it kind of looks like an Edwardian Georgian kind of school. Um, and you can tell we went to nice schools. We did because we, we called did. this a school. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the idea was to try and make it into four separate apartments and kind of loosely faced off kind of London apartment type things. Yeah, so it was. Kind Except of Regent it, Street type thing, and yeah, but it didn't really end up looking super Londony to me because no. it's really hard to split them, uh, like not not like those, like vertical ways. Because in English, like street houses in London and stuff, they've got like pipes that run down them, but we didn't have any like pipes that I would like to put. Well, I put some up there. I put the, the columns and stuff in it. Yeah, but I wanted like. Draining, yeah, yeah. Gutter. <laughs> gutter. I wanted gutters. Um, so yeah, so Emma built the building, and I furnished these two houses. So this one that we're furnishing now is my super modern one, and I had a nice blue kitchen. It took me forever. Well, there's no wallpaper right now. No, I don't. Just one of those wallpaper. If I put concrete type, there it is. Um, <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> uh, I put like a concrete type thing because I just wanted a nice clean surface. Would uh, you actually ever live in a place that just had concrete walls? I think it'd be so cold. I think it would, so I'd need to put like a crap ton of fur blankets and mm. But sometimes I like leaning against the wall when I'm talking to someone and I'd be like, Whoop! Whoop! every time I touch the wall, like, Yeah, but I also cold. like exposed brick and stuff. So like, yeah, those, I mean, you know, the wall that you put in here later. Yeah. I would love to live in an apartment where that wall yeah. features well, heavily. We, so. uh, <laughs> so we, we unknowingly, wittingly. Unwittingly? What unwittingly. Did we do? What do we do? Uh, made half of the building kind of like, yeah. People already lived there and it hadn't been renovated, and people who were there. Uh, so one person was an old woman. So made up little stories for them. So this yes, one I said would be like a, a single workaholic successful. lady. Yeah, successful so she's got a really successful, maybe she's like a, a writer or something, or she runs her own website type thing. Oh, that's funny. I didn't think she'd be like a website person. I thought she'd be more like, um, like a higher retail person. So maybe oh, okay. like a regional manager or something. Oh, okay, cool. Like a really nice. Okay, but uh, she's a lady boss, is what she is. Yeah, she is. Um, and so I've made like a nice entertainment section downstairs, and then there's the more homey stuff oh, upstairs. So all of her guests would pretty much just stay on this level, um, so that she <laughs> unless could she really likes them. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so we made up little stories. So like she'd be one of the renovated apartments, and the other one that I do is like an old lady in my head. She's like an old Italian woman, um, and she's like a grandma because she looks after her. Uh, Super son. tragic backstory <laughs> that Tori came up with for this old lady. Oh, anyway, we'll, we'll tell you when we get there. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah. Um, so this is this house. lady. Um, I kind of also had in mind the sim that you created for this. Okay. Um, so you did a creative sim and we recorded it. And if you guys want to see it, then we can probably upload it for you if you like and do some rubbishy commentary for that one too. Um, but yeah, so I kind of based it off her kind of like successful mm. woman, like make my own rooms. Oh, we're upstairs. I don't think I like the living room that I made here, but I love oh. her bedroom. Okay, right. Why don't you like the living room? I don't know. It's just a little sparse for me. Like, I don't feel like I had enough cluttery things Oh my God, those windows make... are on the wrong levels. Hmm? Did you change that or like... Change what? Did you just leave them? Look at the windows what? on the, the far wall and then the wall. You... Oh! Did you change that or is that how no. they went? No, nope, that's... <laughs> That's where they are. Good stuff. So okay. this, this is available on the gallery if you want to know where. <laughs> Funky um, window house. But yeah, so it's actually under my origin name, which is Tori Lizzie. Um, we might look at and change that so it all comes under Ditsy 2 at some point. But right now, it's all under it's Ditsy 2. Um, it's Tori Lizzie. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I don't like the living room just because I don't feel like I had enough clutter to make it look lived in. It kind of still felt like a show home to me. Whereas like this and her wardrobe and her desk and her bed all looks like she could potentially live there. Right, yeah. But you I, don't, when my room's tidy, you don't like my room because you don't think my room looks lived in. No, exactly. Yeah, no, I don't. Which like, so to me, um, the sparseness is better. I don't, I don't Ooh, like a lot of clutter. Oh. See, I was going, because I was doing all of the flybys of all of this because I did all of the... Um, rubbish photography of it at the end and then there's your apartment so that'll be in the next video that we upload because we had to split it into two because this was all like 40 minutes all up yeah, so we uh, amount of time. even though 
you got sped up to like times eight or something. Um, so yeah, so you create some of the most picturesque, beautiful spaces I've ever seen. Thank you. I, I'm obsessed with one picture and I'll show you because it's an unnecessarily long still. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look. No, I know, ah. it's stunning. <laughs> like I'd put it on a freaking magazine cover. It's beautiful. You know, it's simple. Not really, I can't get it. What? Oh, Since no, when? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I felt like I'm telling you that Santa is super real. I liked this bathroom, it's really compact. Mm. I liked it. I'm not never sure how I feel about having a little wall between the toilet and you. I guess like if someone was to walk in, you'd be like, oh, I'm pooping, go away. Then that, that's kind of good, but I just, I don't know, I never really liked walls by toilets. It just felt like more space. You'd have to try and get in with the hoover. Mm. It would be a bit more awkward. That's the kind of thing, stuff that I think of when I create a sim house is oh. genuinely how easy it would be to hoover. I try and go for aesthetics. Mm. Well, I do too, but I, I generally think about, it's like uh, whenever I create a room, I generally try and think about if I'm living there, mm -hmm. what would I find helpful? Right. But you, you are just like, the same with your own actual bedroom. Yours is just like what looks pretty and not necessarily what is the best way to mm. lay out your room. Yeah, so say, cause that, that headboard is unnecessary. It but is. There's, it, but there's, there's are lights either side, there's little pillars, they're lights. That's, that's nice. And like yeah. the dressing room outside of the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, so she, what, steps out the shower? Yeah. And, and now she's like, oh. this awkward, like, <laughs> hand grab around the side. Like, oh God, where is it? Like tap up, tap down. Like, it's been oh, here the same. Oh, these, I hate high windows to try and put things on the wall. Could, uh, high ceilings, because oh, yeah. I couldn't, couldn't get an angle in there. Yeah. It was, um. <laughs> Very, very awkward and uncomfortable for me. So this this area here, the one of my more successful areas, I genuinely just thought about what you'd want. Okay, nice. Yeah, and I really liked it. And you decided I wanted a small version. No, of... no, no, <laughs> that doesn't make it into the final cut. You have like this nice little zen section. And That's then I put cute. this really massive, not that one, that one. I, I like that. I, re use I that love so that much. lamp. Yeah, yeah, it's one of my favorite lamps. I have actually been trying to buy a lamp like that, mm -hmm. but they cost a lot of money. They do here. So I don't yeah. have one. <laughs> and mm. it's so strange because uh, when I first started buying furniture for my life, I was just so excited that I had money to buy furniture. I just bought things that I liked yep. rather than thinking about things that actually work together in a room. Like what? So I've got uh, a lamp that's like a really light beech wood. Oh, that one on the desk. And then I have like a real, I have two. Oh. And one's like super tall. And yeah. neither of them really go with my bedroom. So I'm going to have to put them in the living room, but I don't know if they're going to work in the living room. Ah, uh, the joys of being an adult. Yeah, it's great. So I've got, I've always got to talk to Tor about our living space. Yeah. That all goes well. <laughs> so this was one of the things that I would try to do to, in this build, which is something I had never done before. It's about forcing the game to put things where I want them to go. Mm. Um, so normally you're beholden to whatever Sims think should stay on that shelf. Mm -hmm. So like that wouldn't be able to fit in there, but then I made it go. Cause it's cute. It looks like the boots been like squished under the thing. Mm. I liked it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'd never done that before. So the whole like nine and zero things to scale them up, to yeah. them up and down. Like I hadn't done that before. So you taught me that too, which was really cool. Yeah, which just means you can get it to look a little bit more realistic almost because yeah. it looks like, well, you don't always put things exactly in the center, center straight on. So yeah. having a little bit off kilter. Well, I never put things as forward as the game wants you to. I do always you? push stuff to the very, very back of a desk. Yeah, you do. And the game's like, why would you do that? I was like, well, so it doesn't bloody fall down, obviously. <laughs> and the game's like, I don't yeah. just like scrape it off by accident. So I think I don't like your living room. No, I don't like it either. Because it looks think. too cold to me. I don't That's exactly what my issue is with it as well. I would have pushed the sofa a lot closer to the no, but then you'd have this awkward walkway thing. No, but then you'd put like a bookshelf behind your sofa. Oh, this is when I was doing the, and then that the would hallway. Be... I have like, a thing with, with tables and then mirrors. Everyone mirrors should. Oh. We've got one in our hallway. That's why. <laughs> Ignore this because I did this, hated it, scaled everything up, hated that, deleted it, walked away in a fit of rage. Good. Oh, not before filling the wall with pictures. Cause I like this wallpaper. I think this looks nice. And then the lights along the top and stuff. I think it's yeah, kind of cool. Look nice. And then try and put pictures up and then try and put these up. And they just all look like vampires. So no, and some of them don't scale up very well. And it just, and then decided to look like an art gallery. What are you doing? Um, I just leave it alone after this. I don't do anything As with it. Should. And then start decorating the old woman's house. Though I noticed actually mm. down here, mm. that middle section, yep. 
was Wasted supposed space. to be separated into those two houses. Huh. Yeah. Cool. So like, which I didn't realize until I was looking through some of the footage and it was scrolling through and there was just this black mess and I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because it's supposed to be the exact opposite of the top. Oh, floors. you can see the outside. The ivy leaves. The ivy doesn't stay there. No, I. So Tori spent a lot of time putting on the ivy, right? And I don't like ivy on the back, on, on houses. So I made her get rid of it all, and she was not super impressed with me. I mean, it took a while to. I don't know why I started all of my buildings in the dark. I do. One of the things that Tori always is like is like, are you gonna put lights in here? And then I go crazy with lights. She's like, wow. I like to stack bright. the lights. And put them in the same spot so they're extra bright but the same lamp. Nice. Yeah. One of my friends' house is an old doctor's surgery. It so all the lights creepy. are like clinical bright. Wow. You can't hide anything. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's curious, it is a frightening thing. You see like ev like all of the floors. Oh, wow. All of the floors. Like, Ew. and if you wake up in the morning and that's the light well, you have Well, hopefully on, you wake up in the morning. Well, yeah. And that's the light you have. There's a whole part of you that's like, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hideous monster. Some people aren't ready for HDTV. I'm not ready for crazy bright lighting. <laughs> so, yeah. I do like the, the look. Oh, yeah. I forgot a sink in my other place. And then I moved all of this stuff, the utensils and stuff. This is the trick I was saying about moving the counter away. Okay. And then putting the stuff that you want on. Mm. And then putting the counter back. And then I spent an inordinate amount of time trying to do these. Just because I thought so it'd be really cute. Tori made this house my absolute nightmare of a house. This, this house makes me feel physically sick to look at. Why? Because it's so... Uh, it's it's like so cluttered. So much clutter. Yeah. And it's so busy. So yeah. many prints and yeah. textures. And I don't yeah. like that. Well, I thought she'd be like a crazy old woman that collects crap. Well, she she looks like one. You, you she good. She doesn't look like one. We haven't made it yet. <laughs> I, I just, I just wanted mind. stuff all over everywhere because I felt like she would collect stuff. Yeah, I feel like she probably would. But I, I have to say though, I do really like how much thought you've put into the background of this person. Ah, thanks. Yeah, I think it's really good. So, um, her husband died. Yep. And she keeps his ashes. Yep. On the mantelpiece. Mantelpiece. Yep. In the fireplace. Yep. Which is. I haven't built it yet, so it's not there yet, but, yeah, but it, it, it will be. It will be. It'll it will be. That's I really like how you've done that though. I oh, think that's thanks. really cool. I think it looks really pretty. Thanks. That's a lot of, annoyingly, a lot of the stuff I used, oh yeah, I thought, oh, yoga mat, and then tried to fit a treadmill in and then it'll just look squished. So I just, I think a treadmill would have worked You with could her. do a gym in the separate section in the base where she's supposed to have a separate space. Could do. That's got nothing in it. We could add that in later. Yeah, that. could do, could do. Um, yeah, and I, so I wanted it to be Really, really Pant. antique which means that like, it, I used a lot of the vampire pack stuff for this one. Yeah, I noticed that. it was a quite yeah. Victorian look, and that's kind of what I wanted. Because I had in my head that what had happened is it was quite gender neutral when her and her husband lived there, and then when her husband died, she decided to go... Crazy with pink? Balls to the wall with pink, yes. Yes. Oh, like... Oh. I mean, look how cluttered that is. Yeah, it's really bad. Because I tried to do... I tried to do something similar later. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, like with your family old woman house. type house, but my version of old woman. It's tours. stunning. You still create some beautiful, beautiful spaces. <laughs> of, like, honestly, <laughs> this flyby at the end of this video is quite short. Yours is like a feature length film. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Oh, and then I put that little ottoman there because I found it. I, I really it. like the idea of giving houses like this character, mm -hmm. which is why I really like the uh, radiators that you've put in. Huh. I think they look really cool. Thanks. And this wall here is like, Tori explained it to me when I was looking at it. It's the most tragic thing. She was like, oh, this will be all of her family. Uh, That's dead. I didn't say all of them That's were dead. That's dead. They're all dead, because her daughter died, which is why she looks after her grandson. Yeah, that was Is that the size the of her TV? Yeah. because sad. It's an addition later. Like, it wasn't there when she originally bought the house, because she didn't need a TV. Cause she had children and a husband. Oh, oh, oh come on. But now she has neither. Well, she's and then child. like piles of crap everywhere. Lots of pink. Lots of pink. Lots. I, and a few books, lots of books. Like cookie jars, just open cookie jars because all old people kind of have cookie jars. Yeah, I found that, I thought that was really sweet. Mm, I like stealing. I like making these little hallway bits and then I put all the gardening accoutrement on the top here. Where does she keep the garden in the back in check then? Yeah, that's what I figured she'd be doing because it just gives her a little something to do. Cute, cute. Yeah. Super cute. Yeah. 
I thought oh god really so much clutter so much clutter I wanted more but I couldn't find anything else which is why I'm kind of toying with the idea of doing custom content because mm. you can disable them in the game so you can boot up the game and then just say don't include the custom content mm. that was her daughter's which is why it's in a pink frame oh and then I found these plates wow just, those what <laughs> just had to <laughs> Fudge the wall up. That is plates. I didn't even see that. That's, that's, that's the ashes. Yeah. And then there's, there's Oh god, we're on to the second floor. Now. Yeah. Um <laughs> so You really wanted to make this one feel pokey, didn't you? I did, yeah, because I wanted to be like kind of because I imagined that the old school house would have got renovated once and she bought it when it was first renovated. Yeah. And so did the other woman who lives you upstairs. Would, yeah. yeah, lives upstairs, literally above her flat. So they would have she bought wasn't it. Planned. I know. <laughs> yeah. um, so she would have bought it around the same time, and then it's been recently renovated the other half. Yep. So she's still living like a remnants of the previous renovation. Mm. Um, so I wanted it to be real small. It's like when they first started putting up walls, but they didn't know how to get rid of this awning stuff because they wanted that to be kind of characteristic. Yeah. Um, Oh, this is a this, this is the boys' this room. Is room. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna make him a toddler, but then thought mm, it's not quite. Not everybody wants to play with toddlers, so yeah. I, I changed it to a child. So maybe it's just a little bit more. Yeah, but it didn't have to be a little boy or a little girl. It's quite gender neutral. Yeah, I thought green's pretty. Yeah, I'd say it's neutral. neutral. Um, so there's like little toys everywhere and oh I spent forever trying to put these up only to realize I put them in exactly the wrong place why just look they're floating way up ah. <laughs> that's the sum of about 10 minutes work nice yeah. ah, oh and then I just decals. put all of these yeah I just went nuts with decals cute yeah I like them she I seems like the kind of woman that'd be like another I've got you another decal and he's like oh my god thanks Grandma. yeah yeah I just Please wanted stop. to make it look really <laughs> nicely lived in so like Little nursery things, and I can't help but feel that that little chibi guy looks just like Jack Sept guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um, and then there's this room, and it's really sad because afterwards I go and like put the camera on the bed and look around her room, and it's really sad and lonely. Aww. I really bummed myself out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make it look lived in and a little bit tired, but cozy and, and homey feeling. Mm, it looks like she, once she was an incredibly wealthy woman. Yeah. And people would come to her house and be like, oh my God, look how big your house is. You yeah. know? Like in the war. Oh, <laughs> Bruce. But, but yeah, yeah so it's, it's- More family photos. Which, ah, oh, I find it really sad having, like, it's weird, because I've got a lot of family photos in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. So like, as soon as I wake up, I see like four family photos. Yeah. but. This many is sad. That many to oh, me is sad. Really? Yeah, seeing that many, because I've got like five, and that's a lot to me. <laughs> right. Well, I've got that one. Uh, no, I've got probably like ten or something. No, I'd say you have a few more than five. I wouldn't say as many as ten. Well, I've got, got like one five. friend that holds four. Yeah. No, I held, that held five. No, that holds four. Okay. And then the one by my bed. Um, family photos doesn't really count if it's just you and me. They're literally just selfies. Just good selfies. <laughs> I decided to frame. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and then, oh, and then this is a... Uh, this is oh, it. Yeah, this looks beautiful. I love these panning shots. Thanks. I did not realize about the plates. Oh, I put in like a little massage chair thing. Cute. And wow, down that, the hallway. That's nice. I didn't see that before. That that would be small. She's got to be a skinny old lady, hasn't she? Yeah, she is a little skinny old lady. Yeah, I thought, yeah. I was like a Pokemon pig type thing. But. Yeah. And then this is the other place. So this is the other one. That's nice. Just, yeah, I like this. I can see me living here if I had to live alone. This is probably so. Where, where am I in this scenario? I said if I had to live alone. Uh, yeah, I think I really love the the curtains. Oh, I forgot that I put those um, shelves up with a bunch of candles and books on them to try and make it feel more homey. But I liked the, the curtains in the bedroom thing. But yeah, that is everything. Right. Well, we hope that you enjoyed this beautiful yeah. little run through of our speed build. I really liked it. I think it looked really beautiful. Thank well, you. Done, I think it looks really nice. So until next time, bye. bye. There's so many buttons you can press. Ooh, like and subscribe.